Okay, so I'm going to walk you through how to set this up working for Maya. And so what we've got is a, a head here that is going to drive a blend shape into your rig. So I've got several of them, but you just want to take a, a normal head, um, have it blend shaped in, and then it's as simple as exporting. So I'm going to export a USD here. So export selection. Yep. Uh, I've got all, basically all the default settings here. Um, in fact, all the default, right? Hit export selection. And I've already got one here called Sam Head, but we can just call this uh, new head. Okay. And then you're going to jump over into your launcher and launch audio to face. And we're done with Maya for now. And we can close that out. And in audio to face, when you launch it, you'll get Mark here. And so you'll be on this tab and, and you can see if you hit play, obviously. The beige shoe on talking. the waters of the lock and pressed all, including Fantastic. the frame. But what we want to do is fit our face to that. So if you go to the character transfer tab here, I'm going to do a couple things. So first we're going to load that face. So we're just going to go open and the new head, we're going to open that up and here he comes. And there he is. And then I'll notice it's brought in the texture and everything, which is nice. Then I'm going to, on the character transfer tab, I want to hit the mail template. And this template is going to pop in into your scene. And you're going to notice it's a little bit high and a little bit big in this particular scene. Every scene is a little bit different. Um, but what you want to do, basically, is move it to a closer position to make your life a bit easier. So I'm just going to grab both of those guys. Notice I'm on the orange mode. If you're on the uh, gray mode here and I select something, it's going to grab everything, right? So if you go to the from the model mode to the prim mode, which is the little orange square, and I grab this guy and we've got both of these mark and mark open. And so I'm just going to move them down and over and zoom in a little bit to make our lives a bit easier. And you notice also that their size is a bit different. So you can go ahead and scale that down if you want to make your life easier, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and then just as a nice working uh, habit here is I'm going to move mark open mouth to the other side uh, just because that's how the other tutorials are done. And so basically what we're going to do now is match my head to this green head. And the other thing I like to do is um, I'll do create light and a rectangle light. And I'll just bring in a rectangle light here. And let's just find that light. Okay. And we'll move it up. And up. Okay. And you can see, obviously, the light's right inside their face, but I'm just going to move it back a little bit to, to help me see a little bit better. And then if you go to Properties, you can maybe turn that down to 1,000 or something, but just to make your life a little bit simpler um, to see stuff. Okay, so now we can grab the head here, zoom in again. And what we're going to do is basically go around and tell uh, audio to face where each of the components of my face are. So if I go back to character transfer, I'm going to first select the driver mesh, which is the gray mark. So that's mark. The target mesh is the one that I want to actually change. So I'm going to do that to my head talking is what we called it in Maya. And then the open mouth, well, that's open mouth mark over there. So open mouth. There we go. And that brings up this nice uh, tab. And we're going to hit add mode. In add mode, we're going to do markers. So if you go in here and start clicking away, I'm going to take like the top of his lip to the top of my lip and the bottom of my lip to the bottom of my lip. And I'm just going to go around his face. So I'm going to do the corner of his mouth to my corner, nose to nose, eye to eye. And you'll notice that Mark's head is obviously not as cartoony as the head that I've got in front of me. And so you may run into a few issues just trying to make sure things fit. And um, it's pretty simple to go ahead and edit stuff if you need to, or if you want to um, add stuff, move stuff, try it out. It's pretty straightforward. So um, we're going to finish up this add 
scenario here and then I will show you how to do that as well. So finishing the eye corner to eye corner and I'm going to do this eye corner and I'm going to do one by his ear here too just to sort of do that. Okay. And you'll notice I almost forgot the corner of his mouth here, so let's pick the corner and the corner. Okay. So if I hit done, now I've got basically his eyes and everything lined up. But you'll notice I forgot stuff, so I forgot this one, no problem. So you can go in here, add mode, pick the corner of his eye, corner of his eye, right? Done. Okay. Now if you also want to be a bit more careful and you look in here and you're like, well... Let's see, corner of his mouth a little bit high maybe, so you can hit edit mode, grab this one, and bring it down a little bit to make more sense, right? And it's as simple as that. So you can hit edit mode, done editing, back and forth, sort of move around, double check everything. In my case, I've done this before, so it seems to be okay. Um, should be good to go. Okay. And if you've done everything right, let's zoom out a bit here. We're just going to hit begin fitting. Now you can you can hit different numbers here. So if you want to iterate more and have more uh, loops through, that's fine. Uh, mine's already done. Now I know this on this mesh he pops over here. It's a little bit different in each mesh. And you see here, its results are supposed to look like Mark, and it looks pretty darn good right away from the very beginning. So I don't really have to do anything. Now, if you didn't like it and you wanted to go back and edit stuff, you can do that. You can simply delete this one. And on your stage, we've hidden the one that is talking right now in this part of the step. So you can turn that back on and move your points around or whatever you like and, in, and then hit um, the fitting again. Now, in this case, our fitting worked out pretty good. So I'm just going to hit begin post wrap and it's going to finish the process. Okay. So, there we go. Now we're done with the markers, so I can turn those off. We can hide our friend, the green mark. So, again, he's open mark here. You can hide him. And if I select this gray mark and go to Audio to Face tab now, I hit the Audio to F ATF pipeline. It's going to say, do you want to do it on this mark? I say, yep, attach it. And that's it. We're done. So, if I hit play now, the beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, before she heard that symphony again, just it's as young Arthur wanted. Good already. And so, I mean, you can obviously go in here and mess with a bunch of different things if you wanted to try different stuff and have stronger results. So you can. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen, if you want. before she heard that symphony again. Just as young Arthur or wanted. Maybe you want the upper face to move around. The beige more. hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, right. including the French queen. You can change before she heard that symphony again. Just as young happening. Arthur wanted. You just hit reset to put him back to the where beige you don't hue like on the waters Another of the lock impressed all, nice thing including the French click queen. Type in a before number, she heard you you that symphony cool. again. Just as young Arthur wanted. Control click for the numbers. The beige one. hue on the waters um, of the lock impressed all, you know including like the French queen. Settings. Before she heard that symphony again. Pretty darn good. Just as young Arthur wanted. The other nice wanted. thing here is you can hit stop. The hit the record button, and there's a live mode. So I can go in here and I can start talking, and you can see he's talking right back at me, which is pretty crazy. Um, or we can hit new if you want to do a new one, but we can we can hit record. So we can say. Hi, I'm recording a tutorial, and I like to make my character talk. This is pretty crazy. Wow. Okay. Hi, I'm recording a tutorial, and I like to make my character talk. This is pretty crazy. Wow. So you see, that's pretty cool. Hi, um, I'm recording a tutorial, and I like to make my And maybe you want to try talk. different... Word this is in, pretty crazy. Phrases that are a bit harder, wow. so we can. If you didn't like this, you can just hit. Um, Hi, I'm Ryu, new, and it's ready to go again. So if we wanted to say something like, "It's time to do lip sync for free," let's just talk to the computer and let it do its thing. It's time to do lip sync for free. Let's just talk to the computer and let it do its thing. 
Looks pretty it's good. It's time to do lip sync for free. So then you can Let's just talk to the computer this and let it do it. This can thing. save as somewhere. It's time to do lip sync for save free. It. There we go. Let's okay, just so talk to the out. computer and, and let it do And then the last thing, thing to do here is you can export it. Now you can export either a USD or a Maya cache. Because we're going back to Maya, I'm going to select a mesh, which again was our head talking, but now you want to do the result. And you can export mesh. Um, your frame right here, this is how much it samples, not necessarily what you're playing back in Maya. So we've had good results at 60, and you can go a bit higher if you want even more fidelity, so maybe 90. And I'll hit export cache here. You can see it's still listening to me in live mode, which is kind of funny. Um, you can hit export at 90. Now it's going to put it in this folder, which is not necessarily where I want to be. Um, you can put it on your host or... I'm just going to drop it into that same folder so that they're all sitting beside each other. Um, so here we go. And we'll just call this automatic results. Select that. And oh, automatic results. Okay. And I'm going to hit export cache. And is there, are you sure you want to do this? And may, yep. I do want to do that. And it's going to just bake out here. And then we're good to go. So while that's going, um, we can actually launch Maya. It's not going to take too long at all. Um, but we'll launch Maya back up. Okay, so we're back in Maya. And we've got our blend shape head here that's already set up to go. So I'm just going to grab that head. And if you go to the animation tab under cache, Geometry cache is what we just did. I'm going to import the cache. Automatic results are right there, sitting in the folder. Hit go. And it's as simple as that. You just have to add maybe 200 frames to our scene. And your head should be talking away, which is great. And then if you right click here, audio import, you can drop in your audio file. Hit play. It's time to do lip sync for free. Let's just talk to the computer. And it works it great. So the last thing we're going to do is just turn our blend shape on. There you go. And if we come over to our rig and hit play Lisp thing, it's time to do lip sync for free. Let's just talk to the computer. <laughs> That's and pretty let it cool. And of course, you know the rig all functions it's just time fine. To do lip -sync so for free. if you hit stop and you know you're moving your eyebrow around or you know, if you're animating the arm, whatever, like all this just works in the lip sync. It's just blend shape at this point. So let it do its thing. Pretty fast playback in Maya because it's coming in as a it's cache. It's time to do lip sync for free. Let's just pretty talk impressive to the stuff. And so and obviously you can hide thing. these. You don't necessarily need to see this one anymore. Um, it's time to do. So just hide that guy, and you're good to go. Sync for free. And Let's the nice thing about the this setup let is that thing. if you're sitting there with a number of different audio files, you it's can have to do a number of free. different just talk to the um, computer and let it do it heads thing. that are ready to receive uh, lip sync. So I've got several here. I just called blank one, blank two, whatever. Um, and you can put in multiple caches onto that. And then you know if you're seeing changes or you have different lines to deliver, you just drop in your your cache on those ones. Same process. You just do cache import onto the other one and you're good to go.